May I request everyone to please stand up for the prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our infinite and eternal Father, thank you for the hundredfold blessings. Help us to multiply love and respect. Divide our God-given talents. Add happiness and ideas to others. And subtract wrongdoings and grudges in our hearts. In Jesus' name, Amen. Mathematics is engaging. Students here are all amazing. Let's have a fun learning. Please laugh us, digamo. Last week, we learned the Blaan greetings. So today, we will learn the Manobo greetings, Davao Occidental version. Mapia Islam, it means good morning. Repeat after me. Mapia Islam. Mapia Islam. Now it's your turn. Very good. So you learned a new native dialect today. Okay, before you take your seats, kindly pick up the pieces of garbage on the floor and arrange your chairs properly. Okay, you may now take your seat. Okay, Miss Secretary, may I know the number or who are absentees for today? Very good. Since no one is absent, let us give ourselves a good job clap. G double O D J O B, good job, good job. G double O D J O B, good job, good job. So now, before we start our lesson, let's have our classroom rules and health protocols. Before we start our discussion, let us have first some recap about our last topic. What was our topic yesterday? Yes, Altea. Okay, our last topic was all about graphical representation of frequency distribution. Again, what are those different kinds of graphs? Okay, yes, Amadeus. Nice, very good. We have pie chart, bar graph, line graph, histogram, and ogive. So are we clear with kinds of graph? Okay. 
So class, before we move to the next topic, let's play a four picks one word game. Of course, in this game, four picks will be presented and you are going to guess what those pictures tell or what is common on those four pictures. If you got the answer, then raise your hand and do not answer in chorus. Is that clear? Okay, let's start. For the first set, yes, Alvaro, it's Sam. Very good. The answer is Sam. Okay, let's have for the second set, we have. Who can guess the answer? Yes, Ira. It's average. Very good. Okay, let's have the third set. We have, okay, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, Alpios. Very good. The answer is middle. Okay, now let's have the last set. So we have five, four, three, two, one. Yes, who can guess the answer? Oh, everyone is raising their hand. Seems like you already know the answer. What's the answer, students? Very good. It is frequent. Okay. Now. What are the four words again? Sam, average, middle, and frequent. So, what do you think is our topic for today? Any idea? Very good. Our topic for today is all about Measures of central tendency of ungrouped data. But before we proceed, let us find out first what are objectives. Everybody, please read. Number one, define mean, median, and mode. Number two, find the mean, median, and mode of statistical data. Number three, Show appreciation to the value of mean, median, and mode in real-life situation. Number four, cooperate actively in a group activity. In connection in our previous game, let us have an activity. Okay, I will group you into two groups. Column one and column two will be group one, and column three and column four will be group two. Okay, please form a circle and do not forget our classroom rules and health protocols. I have here a set of pictures. The following pictures shows an updated price list of fruits per kilo in Nanai Turing store. Pineapple, 60 per kilo. Mango, 100 per kilo, banana, 60 per kilo, watermelon, 120 per kilo, strawberry, 480 per kilo, avocado, 130 per kilo, and grapes, 200 per kilo. So, you are to do the following. First, Arrange the set of the prices in ascending order. Second, find the average of the data. Third, encircle the middle price. Fourth, underline the price that appears most frequently. Am I making myself clear, students? Okay, so group one and group two leaders, 
please get your markers and manila paper. After three minutes, you have to paste your answer on the board. Are you done, students? Okay, please paste your answer on the board. Does group one and group two have the same answer? Yes, very good. Group one and group two have the same answer. What exactly did we do in our activity? We arranged the prices in ascending order from lowest to greatest. So we have here 60, 60, 100, 120, 130, 200, and 400 AD. Now, what else did we do? Yes, Abby? Yes, we also get the average. How did we get the average? Yes, Anna? We get the average by adding all the set of prices and dividing it by the number of values being added. That's right. Now, what is the average of the data? Yes, Angelo. The average of the data is 162.29. Now, what price appears in the middle? Yes, Amy. The price appears in the middle is 120. What price frequently appear? Yes, Axel. Very good. The price that frequently appear is 60. So now, what is measure of central tendency? Everybody read measure of central tendency. It is a summary of measures that attempts to describe a whole set of data with a single value that represents the middle or center of its distribution. So in short, this is the measure that tells where the center of the data set is located. So it is also consists of mean, median, and mode. Now, kindly direct your attention to our screen for a short video. Okay, now, what was the song all about? Correct! The song is all about measure of central tendency or mean, median, and mode. Correct! So, now, from the video, what is mean? Sa inyong nakita dito sa video, ano ang mean? Oh yes, pwede. Sige, express your answer in Visaya. Kung dili kaya sa English. Okay, very good. So, mean is about average. Now, what is median? Yes, at the back. Ah, what is median? Tama. Median is ang number na asa. Middle. Okay. What is mode? Based from the video, what is mode? Oh, yes. I lean at the back. So, mode is the number that appears frequently. Okay. Very good, I lean. So, again, mean is yung sa video, average. Median is yung Middle and mode is the number that appears frequently or katong number na. Okay, kapila nag, balik, balik. So now, let us tackle first the mean. Mean, it is the most used measure of central tendency. It is an average. It is the sum of all numbers 
divided by the total number. So, this is the formula for mean. So, this is x bar. Ibig sabihin niyan, that is mean. x bar is equals, itong symbol na to, ibig sabihin, o pagbasa nito is summation. So, summation of x divide by n. So, summation of x or the sum of all the data. Where n and n is the total number of the values of x. So we have here an example. Example number one. Six friends in TLE class received test score of 10, 8, 7, 3, 4, and 9. Find the mean of the test score. Let us find the mean of these test scores. So from the formula given, what is the formula again? We have, yes, Altea. Okay, x bar is equal summation of x over n. So we have the formula. Then we will analyze and then substitute the given values to the given formula. Okay, so we have here the formula. x bar is equal summation of x over n. So we have x bar equals, we substitute the value, 10 plus 8 plus 7 plus 3 plus 4 plus 9, divide by, we have 6. Bucket 6 ang n natin. Kasi, the value of x, meron tayong anim na number. So that's why, our n here is 6. Next, we will now add this one. So the answer is 41 over 6. So 41 divided by 6, our mean now is 6.83. Hence, our mean in this problem or the mean score of the 6 friends is 6.83. So now, let's have another example. So, example number 2. Kasi gusto mo volunteer. Hmm? Okay, yes, EJ. Come here in front. So here is the problem. The ages of the 5 contestants in a math quiz B are the following. 18. 17, 18, 19, 18. Find the average. And also, pwede mo, ng mga nadaraas sa lingkuranan, pwede po mo mag-solve sa inyong notebook. Okay, AJ is done. So let us check if AJ's answer is correct. Let us find out kung tama ba ang kanyang solutions. So we have here the formula. We have x bar is equals, what is this? Summation of x over n. So we will substitute the value. So we have 18 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 plus 18. The answer is? 90 divided by 5. So, 90 divided by 5, the answer is 18. So, therefore, the mean age of the 5 contestant in statistic quiz B is equal to 18. So, now, let us give AJ a Aling Janisha clap. Is there any questions on how to get the mean? Okay, since wala na mo'y pangutan, ha? 
Okay, let's proceed to the second measure of central tendency. So the second measure of central tendency is very good. It is the median. Okay, what is median? Everybody please read. Median, it is the middle number or value when all the values in a set of data are arranged in ascending order. It is an average of two middle values if a data set contains even number of values. The median will either be specific value or will fall between two values. So let's have an example para mas masabda na to kung unsaon pag uha sa median. Example number one. Everyone, please read. The grades in mathematics of grade 7 students are 82, 79, 85, 79, 78, 87, 88, 89, and 77. Find the median. But before we find the median, let us always remember the first rule in finding the median is what do we need to do? We need to arrange the number from ascending order or from descending order. Yes, ibig sabi ng ascending order from gamay to dako and descending order from dako na number to gamay. Then after we will arrange, we will now find the middle value. Am I understood, class? Okay. So what are the values given? So we have here 82, 79, 85, 79, 78, 87, 88, 89, and 77. So now, we can arrange it the number from ascending order. Who would like to arrange? Yes, Alvin. Okay, thank you, Alvin. So we have now the arranged number in ascending order. So we have here 77, 78, 79, 79, 82, 85, 87, 88, and 89. So is this correct? Is this in ascending order? Yes, very good. This is arranged in ascending order. Now, who can give me the middle number? Okay, who wants to answer? The middle number. Okay, the middle number is? 82. Correct. So our middle number is 82. So 82, since it is the middle number, this will be our, yes? Okay, this will be our median. So class, what have you observed in our data sample? Great, our data sample is an Add samples since there are only nine samples. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So always remember that when we have an odd number, we have an odd number, the median is always in the center. Okay, let's have example number two. Everybody read. The size of eight classes selected at random are 40, 39, 41, 48, 45, 46, 42, 49. Find the median. So, what is the first rule again? Very good. We need to. Arrange the score in 
ascending or descending order to find the middle value. So you can arrange the data in ascending order. Yes, Aries. Okay, so Aries' answer is 39, 40, 41, 42, 45, 46, 48, and 49. Are the data now arranged in ascending order. Very good. Now, who can give me the middle number? Yes, Abby. The middle number is 42. Oh, you're raising your hand, Al. The middle number is 45. Oops. Mom, bakit talawa ang median natin? Or middle number okay before we will direct answer that what have you observed in our data sample class all right our data sample is even and there are two middle numbers since the middle point falls halfway between 42 and 45 let us remember in order to get the median, we need to get the mean of these two values. So we have here the formula for mean. We have x bar is equal to summation of x over n. So we will just simply now substitute the value. So what is our summation of x? So we have. 42 plus 45 since these are the two median or middle number divided by 2. So we will add that one. The answer is 87 divided by 2. So our mean is 43.75 or our median in example number 2 is 43.75. Very good. So in this problem, again, the median is 43.75. Okay, class, always remember that if we have an odd sample, the median is directly in the middle. But if we have an even sample, like example number two, we need to get the mean of the middle number. Okay, am um, I understood? So class, do you ha understand how to find and solve the median of ungrouped data? Dali lang no kwaon. Naabay pangutana? Klaro ba? Okay, since there is no question, let us now move on to the next measure of central tendency. So the last measure of central tendency is mode. Okay, everyone, please read. Mode, it is the measure of value which occurs most frequently in a set of data. It is also the value with the greatest frequency. To find the mode of a set of data, we are to consider the following. Number one, select the measure that appears most often in the set. Number two, if two or more measures appears the same number of times, then each of this value is a mode. Number three, if every measure appears the same number, then the set of data has no mode. We have also types of mode. So these are the following types of mode. We have no mode, a data having equal frequency of observation. Next, we have bimodal, a data set that has two values that occurs with the same greatest frequency. We have also unimodal. If the data set has only one 
value that occurs most often. And we have trimodal, a data set that has three value that occurs with the same greatest frequency. And last, we have the multimodal when a set of data has more than values that occurs with the same greatest frequency. Again, what are the types of mode? Yes, everyone, we have no mode, unimodal, bimodal, trimodal, and multimodal. Very good. So now let's have an example. Example number one, everybody please read. The grades in science of grade 7 students are 82, 79, 85, 79, 78, 87, 88, 89, and 77. Find the mode. Again, what is our first step? Very good. We need to arrange the data in ascending or descending order. So who would like to arrange the data? Oh, yes. AC. Okay, very good. So we have here now the data. So from our given data, who can give me the number which appears most frequently? Yes, Amber. Very good. In our data set, the number is 79. So ang 79, ikaduha nag balik, balik. Since 79 appears with the greatest frequency, then it is the mode of the set of data. So, ibig sabihin, kay si siyaman ang nagbalik-balik, so 79 will be our mode. Now, what type of mode is 79? Oh, yes, Altea. Correct. The type of mode is Unimodal. Very good. Okay, let's proceed to the example number two. Everyone, please read. The size of eight classes selected at random are 40, 39, 41, 48, 45, 46, 42, and 49. Find the mode. Would like to answer the board? Yes, Azarias. Okay, ano unang gagawin natin, Azarias? So, we will arrange the data in ascending order. So, we have here now. Okay, thank you. Very good, Azarias. So, we have here the data. So, what have you observed in our data? Oh, yes, and walay nag balik balik na number. So, ibig sabihin, so it means there is no mode. So, since there is no mode, what is this or what type of mode we have? Oh, yes, Amadeus. So, we have no mode pa rin. So, ang tawag natin dyan is no mode. Is everything clear, class? There is no question. Okay, so let's have an activity. The title of our activity is Exploring Mean, Median, and Mode with Playing Cards. So you have here a deck of cards and activity sheets, okay? Group 1 and Group 2, leaders, kindly come here in front and get your materials. Okay, leaders, kindly choose from these activity sheets. Okay, Group 1, 
will have to draw nine cards and group two will have to draw the 12 cards. Okay, so after drawing the cards, you will now go to your group and read the instruction given in your activity sheets. I'll give you three minutes to answer the activity. Okay, time is up. Kindly paste your answer on the board and explain your answer. Okay, very good. Let's have ourselves a angling clap. Angling clap, ready, go. One, two, angling. One, two, angling. One, two, angling, galing. Now, let's have another exciting activity class. Group yourselves into three. Okay, at the back, please start counting. Okay, before you proceed to your respective group, please do not forget our classroom rules and health protocols. Okay, I send the board. So here is our rubric for the group activity. So we have another reminder or our standards in conducting the activity. Okay, participate actively, express your idea, do your best. Everyone will share their ideas, recognize and respect others, stay with your group, and always stay safe protocols. The following standards in group activities should always be observed. So here is your problem. So the following set of data show the weekly income of 10 selected households living in Barangay Pangil in the town of Amadeo. So we have here the data. So now um, you will finish the activity in three minutes. Okay? Am I clear? Very good. So group one, proceed here on the left, group two at the back, and group three at the right side. You can arrange your chairs into a circular form. You can make a yell, a cheer, or a clap so that we can recognize if you already done. The last group who will finish their work will be the first one to present in front. Is it clear? Okay. So each group, listen. Please choose from the following cards okay group one what number do you like from one to three okay one for group one here is your card group two number two or number three okay group two here is your card group three of course you have no choice so here is your card okay group one what is your test Okay, to compute for mean. How about group two? To compute for the median and the last but not the least group, group three. Okay, find and identify the mode. Okay, you may now start again. You will be given three minutes. Time is up. Okay, let's give ourselves a fireworks clap for a job well done. Ready? Go! One, two, three. One, two, three. Psh, psh, psh. Boom! Okay, isa pa. Ready? Go! One, two, three. One, two, three. Psh, psh, psh. Boom! Now, let's have a Rika, what is mean? Yes, Altea, correct. How do we find or compute the mean? Oh, yes, Amadeo, very good. 
What is median? Yes, at the back, AJ. Correct. How do you find or compute the median? Yes, Alvaro. Very good. What is mode? Yes, Alpa. Correct. What are the different types of mode? Yes, Eliza. Enumerate it. Very good. How do you find the mode? Yes, Aliyah. Correct. Great job. It seems that you all understand well today's lesson. So I think you are all now ready for our wow quiz. So we have the wow quiz. Can you get one half crosswise? So I'll give you five minutes to answer. Kindly copy and answer the quiz. Okay, time is up. Please exchange your paper with your seatmate. Okay, let us check. Very good. Okay, pass your paper forward. For your assignment, please copy what is on the board. Are you done copying your assignment? Okay, please take your seat and arrange your chairs properly. Okay, based on the quiz results, I know you learned a lot from our lesson. So, it was an ordinary day turned in an amazing one. Thank you, amazing students. Truly, mathematics is engaging. Students here are all amazing. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, class.